Hey beautiful people, welcome back to my channel. This week's vlog is a little bit of an all-rounder. We've got Seppi visiting. <laughs> Seppi. <laughs> Just some good days with my bestie. So basically he doesn't trust me. So it was when Dimple drives, um, because she's so delicate and lovely. Ah, stop. I'm on a mission to build community, but making friends as an adult is really hard. And of course, listen to me over show. It feels like I've just fought and flats in my face. Why does this not feel like it's enough? Let's get into it. working behind i'm like i used to work in retail so late closing times are not cute not fun so it's okay i'll make the croissants work i'm thinking of doing like little platters kind of thing i say platters i guess i mean like little bits of things that we can kind of just add to our things I've got some baby tomatoes and we've got feta some soft cheese always a win soft cheese gets in and then we've got some tuna i really wanted to do avos but these babes aren't going anywhere like they are rock solid, so we're not going to be doing that though. <laughs> Just drop a couple of these up and then, yeah, our ticket should be wrapping in like 15 minutes. So we are solid. Look who it is. Let's give Tiffany a last toast. <laughs> this is our bookshelf. <laughs> so got me a wine rack for my birthday. Oh, that's cool. Oh, there that's are two cool. actually, so cool. something to do that one. Even engaged here. <laughs> you're so boring. Oh my, no, you weren't in the room, but your no, fingers. Did. Yeah, no, you weren't. Oh, no. oh that was during the awkward time. Really? Yes, when oh. you came back to visit, and I was just there, and I was sad, and I was like, I still like you, and he was like, Yes, I like you. I was so confused. Yes, second bookshelf. Daisy, my sister in law, got it customized. That's so sweet. Friend, right? I cried. <laughs> Dude, I cried like a baby. I, I cried. I also cried. This is so sweet. Right? Oh, love it for you. Can't tell us we didn't think about it, but love it. <laughs> I wouldn't have shown you in it. Well, I would have, but you know. This is literally all of your clothes. This was like that big so i'm gonna put that there but i kind of like that sill window sill so i don't know yeah this but it's voting day so i am here to cross my boat it is time yeah <laughs> 
first of the speed really should be interesting. Let's do vote casting. It looks like it's like people are arriving, so let me move quickly. <laughs> it's like 3 p.m. and then I'll probably meet my sister for happy hour, which should be fun. It should be nice catching up with her. Also, a nice social day for me. Get in, spend time with my friend in the morning, time with Sethi, standard at home, and then time with my sister. And then we're gonna be having dinner at my mom's house or my parents' house. So excited about that. Yeah, this is nice. More public holidays, please. That's successful. Uh, we've done the things. Let's go fetch Sethi. He's just at the mall on the corner. I saw it straight away. Just that. <laughs> Seth insists on driving. I do. Do you want to tell the people why? Um, I don't know if I want to tell the people. I feel bad. <laughs> But basically, you don't our, tell them right, because you're nonsense. A car's battery, every time you start the ignition, gets drained a bit. Mm -hmm. And it needs revs and it needs running properly to help charge that battery. So if you if you start your car like this and you just let it idle, it doesn't necessarily help the battery because there's no revs. There is a way Dimple drives um, because she's so delicate and lovely. She doesn't want the car to be screaming because it sounds like it's in pain, you know? So she changes when the revs are really low still sometimes the cars are almost stalling and there's no revs so the battery generally gets drained so basically he doesn't trust me yeah, <laughs> yeah. and another reason why okay. it's actually important to uh, uh to change with higher revs is so then you have power to move the car because if you change into low revs the car's got no powers then you can't avoid an accident <laughs> So this place is called The Village. I haven't been here in so long. It looks so different. I'm like... What a lovely time! Yo, it is so fun making new friends that... I don't know, we're actually speaking now. Like, making friends as an adult is really hard. Um, but it's so nice to make friends with someone who also wants to make friends, if that makes sense. Yeah, it's just like, I think because you both come into it open and like, cool, you're both new, like, who are you, where are you from, what's your family like, you know what I mean? And I feel like we've, we share a lot of the same values in terms of, oh, just in different spaces. I'm really excited for this friendship and yay i feel like she should also fit in really well with some of my other friends which is really nice because i think i was there before but seth and i love hosting so it'd be really nice to have her like come to prize and games nights and things like that you know what i'm saying so yay yay to lexi she's so lovely so sweet so genuine let's head to my parents house they are leaving for kzn at some point so let's see if they're still home i also have a new id with my new surname that's not actually a new surname because i've been a bag for five years so i want to show that to them <laughs> so let's go look how bumped into hello hello how you doing hello. this is my twin brother guys twin don't let him lie to you do you want to tell the people what your favorite thing about me is so many to pick from ah oh, stop <laughs> um, the fact that you're the youngest. That's your favorite thing about me. Yeah. I didn't even choose that than, though. That at least I'm not the youngest. Why? I uh, Is it too big a burden? It just doesn't sound nice. The design easy. skills as well. Oh, thanks. All right, have a good day at school, darling. <laughs> Right. Don't forget to give me sweets. Remember what May said. No, May didn't say anything. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. <laughs> hey. Hey. You're so cute. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Feeling great. Um, I'm still trying to 
figure out what it is. It feels like my, <laughs> I don't know, my brain's chemicals are just not doing what they should be doing. Um, not anything terrible, but just, I don't know. I'm also feeling drained and I don't know. <laughs> it's just a bit of a struggle right now, um, but it's not anything terrible. I'm just like, I'm still okay. I know that I'm still okay, but I also acknowledge that I need to do some things that are gonna help me just feel better. Like I'm really hoping to take a walk, uh, like a proper five kilometer walk. Um, woo. Spend some time outside, be in the sun. It's like a little bit darker in here. Yeah, so let's make a list of just the things I need to get done. Today is Saturday. I've just washed the dishes, that's all done. I do need to do the laundry. Let's do my nails. Let's go to the grocery store. We want to do chicken wings tonight. So I'm like, that's something to look forward to. So we'll get that, we've got vegetables and we've got potatoes for chips. So we'll sort that out. And then what else needs to be done? Girl. When I tell you our spare room, like I still haven't unpacked my clothes, it's time. It's time. I need to do that. That spare room needs to now just <laughs> so let's do that. Because also a mess when like people come over and it's like, here's a spare room. I know it looks a mess, but it's gonna come together at some point. I mean we've been living here for a month. There's no way that our spare room still looks like that. So Let's fix that. So yeah, let's go. Let's start with making a drink because it's Saturday and like, let's have some chill vibes. I think I might edit and post my vlog. So these are not going to be in order. Let's see what we can get through today. Let's try, please, and get through everything today. so much better already but it is pretty much the end of the day so <laughs> let's go pick up some bits and then get back edit have dinner just get into sunday vibes please <laughs> them has made me realize not only not only realize but also obviously went through it because if you notice there's a pattern in both vlogs where I'm struggling or just find myself in days where I've just been struggling mentally um, which is something that's so out of the ordinary for me and what makes it a million times more like what? <laughs> fact that you listen if you're not near around here you know how much Seth and I have been praying <laughs> to be in the position that we currently are in the position of having our own home having our own space stability like oh my gosh consistency routines and even though routines which is very natural take time to create and just kind of live in for it to be just standard and cruising there have been so many moments where i've just been like girl why am i struggling why am i waking up to days where i feel i don't know you know when it's like like i'm really grateful for the space but why am i struggling to live it out live out this position that i've been praying for with excitement why am i struggling to live it out with energy and i don't know it's just like if, it feels like i've just fallen flat to my face and just not understanding what guys <laughs> when i tell you 
about a month into so the first month was like yeah great and obviously still settling in still getting some basics that we needed around the house oh my goodness about a month into moving into our home was i not sending seth links to properties in cape town and like just the next exciting thing and oh my gosh there's so much of it that's like <laughs> why am i so ready for the next thing or why does this not feel like it's enough that's kind of what i've been going through mentally and i know i haven't necessarily shared it but it's because i didn't understand it myself but there definitely has been a massive part of me that has struggled to not even appreciate definitely have consistently appreciated where we're at but just hasn't managed to feel fulfilled in this space which is so sad it's like <laughs> how can you feel sad about something that you've cried tears about like those deep heart-wrenching tears that are like lord i don't understand why we're going through the depths of this and then to get to the other side and not feel for what like <laughs> but the beauty of it all and i 100 percent think it's a god move seth found this book this book is called the molecule of more i could not recommend this book more <laughs> Oh my goodness, the timing of us reading it. I remember we started reading it, oh, when? A month before leaving the UK. And so the molecule of more goes into the depths of our brain chemicals, namely dopamine. It goes into all the other kind of chemicals and the different things that it kind of touches on and affects and all the details. One of the stories in this book that like struck me was the story of a an astronaut astronauts are incredibly intelligent and this sir was part like was part of the team of the mission of going to the moon oh my word it blows my mind every time my guy dedicates his entire life his career everything puts all his energy it's listen we're going to the moon all the studies research you name it his whole life is dedicated to this mission they do the things go to the moon comes back depression unfulfillment just he went through the utmost from having come back from the moon and when being interviewed he was asked did you ever take a step back like standing on the actual moon looking at the earth looking at the rocket did you ever take a step back and think wow we just did that what that's a massive step for humanity did you not just stand there in awe and just think this is actually crazy we have done it and Mr. Astronaut Man said, no, no, uh, like we did the math, we calculated it and we got there. Like, it's not really a big deal. Yes, we landed on the moon. Can you imagine? Can you imagine landing on the moon just to feel unfulfilled and feel no sense of awe, feel no sense of wow. <laughs> and that story struck me because the author goes on to explain that his dopamine just <laughs> basically the exact same thing that i've experienced here where you put so much energy so much desire so much everything into this thing but because because of dopamine and the fact that it doesn't ever actually fulfill, you then begin to experience, I guess, like crashes and that sense of unfulfillment, the sense of just like, what now? And like I said, because dopamine never actually fulfills, it looks for the next thing. Could you imagine leaving the entire earth just to feel nothing? But yeah, that's just how our brains are made. And oh my gosh. So again, I could not recommend the book enough because it helped me understand that I'm going, I'm going to feel things. I'm going to, I don't know, reach peaks and feel unfulfilled maybe, but that's not the reality of what's going on. It's the reality of my thinking because me within me is incredibly grateful. Our house is amazing. We're able to host people. We have quiet days, just the utmost. My insides are so thankful to be in this space, 
but sometimes my brain isn't able to catch that and that's because of chemicals that doesn't reflect other parts of still me you know what i mean so i'd recommend that book on levels please 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 read it it's one of those books that i'm like i need to read this book every year Yo, it has helped me so much um so it's just helped me process and so it's really cool to be able to edit my vlogs and see where i've dipped even though i wasn't able to understand why flipping egg it's really difficult to i guess struggle mentally and not be able to point to what exactly it is and so i'm so thankful to to at least be this much more um knowledgeable and prepped for future dopamine like <laughs> things but yeah so that is me i'm it's going to be more rosy going forwards because really look at my previous vlog and this one oh god like you're really struggling for <laughs> thing thank you for listening to me if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up <laughs> really appreciate you being here Really appreciate you seeing me through these different seasons. I'll see you at the next one. The next one, Seth and I catch the flu and are going through the most for like, oh my gosh, I think we were sick for like a month. It, it was the pits. <laughs> but after that, also we go to Howick for a little trip away um, for a wedding and all the good things. So if I don't see in the comments, I'll see you at the next one, okay? Thank you guys. I'll see you soon. Bye.